Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome to The Law and Life. I'm your lawyer, Patrick McGean, and I am your best friend at your worst time. I'm playing lawyer today. I'm between depositions. I have deposition schedule all day, and I'm literally in between the depositions. The last part of the last deposition I was in, I get a funny email. Oh, I thought it was a funny email. It made me laugh. Let me find it. Okay. Probably never happened before on YouTube. I get this email from Carolyn. Carol, Carolyn asks, well, she says first, she says, I love your ties. You have great ties, and I love your tie knots. Thank you. I've never had anybody compliment my tie knots before. Anyway, and then she asks, how do you tie your ties? So here it is. For the first time in history on YouTube, I want to show you how a former reformed Catholic school child and lawyer ties a tie. We're going to tie a tie like a lawyer. So I'm going to show you from start to beginning. So let's move this. Undo the tie. Take it off. Get rid of the tie completely. Undo the collar. Okay, so from here you're going to lift your collar up. I'm sure there's plenty of ways to tie ties, but this is the way I do it. This way I've been doing it since I was like five years old in Catholic school. Okay, collar's up and straight. Now I'm left hand, so it's going to be backwards if you're right handed. So you got the thick part of the tie. Weird. You got the thick part of your tie here. This is my left hand. Skinny part of the tie in my right hand. So I'm a tall guy. I'm six foot five. So I know, you know, I've been tying ties so long, I know where the ratio is from the left to right, but you'll have to figure that out yourself. You'll get it from tying a bunch of ties. You'll just finally figure it out. You just put it on, you find it, and it'll look like it's correct. Anyway, fat part, front of tie, left hand, skinny part, back of tie, right hand. You're going to cross the fat part over the skinny part and grab it with your left hand. Remember, fat part of the tie. I'm going to come all the way around, change hands. like that. Grab it back here with your left hand. Take the fat part again, bring it up underneath. Through the neck hole. Pull it about halfway out and then you'll have this loop here. You're going to bring it back through the loop Right there. This is the fat part of the tie. Pull it through. Cinch it down. Put your thumbs behind it. Spread it out and bring it around. And then pull it up to your neck. Pull your shirt down. Put your collar down. Make sure your collar's down in the back. It doesn't get hung up. The more starch you have in it, the more it's going to get hung up. Well, it's backwards when you do it on camera. So let's see if we go this way. Pull your shirt down. Get yourself adjusted. Make sure it's good and cinched up around the neck. Not so much that it, that it uh, wrinkles the collar. So push it that way. And there you go. How to tie a tie like a lawyer. Make sure it's got all the kinks out of it. Make sure the skinny part is hiding behind. And then put it in. Put it in a little holder on the back of the tie. And there you go. Tie a tie like a lawyer. And when you tie it, make sure the fat skinny the fat front part goes over your belt buckle. Because if you've got to wash your hands, brush your teeth, or get a drink from a fountain, you don't want your tie flapping down and getting wet. So if it's down at your belt buckle, you can tuck it in behind your belt buckle and it keep it from getting wet. So there's your lawyer tie tips of the day. First time in history on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this content. Take a look at my other videos if you, you, know, you like it. Please like it. Please subscribe. I love you all. Have a good one. Bye.